Hello everyone, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Alright, so in the last episode, we appeased the donkey. He will now, I think, be willing to bring us uh, corpses again. Which then I can use to extract stuff from the body. Um, or you know, berry to make things better. So we're right now just kind of- oh, I didn't even need to extract that, but oh well. We're kind of just taking everything from this guy. He- he- he's not so great. Okay, so we got- we got everything. So we'll have plenty to study now. Um, but unfortunately we cannot put this guy in the graveyard. He will bring the graveyard way down. So hopefully the bishop doesn't see me carrying this guy over to the river, and hopefully this won't make everybody angry at me. I want to bury the others, like the next ones. And now with some faith, hopefully, after today, we can make some um, progress on, on some studying for blue points, because I think Starting the dungeon is something we can wait a little bit longer on without the game getting repetitive. So I think we need to um, work on getting blue points <coughs> for studying. That's what we need. Please work. Yay, we had a successful one. And that means I'll get some money too. Not a lot, but a little. Now the only one faith is a little bleh. Um, oh, because it says I failed. So we just have the one faith. One lowly faith. Hopefully we only need one. To get started at least. Nope, we need three. Wow, and there's no other way to get faith as far as I know. I did say I would check the alchemy rack, so we need beams, which we can't get right now. Can't get that right now, unfortunately. Well, that's unfortunate. I thought we were going to be able to make some... Uh... Wow, we could trade our only prayer. Not that I think that's a good idea. We need that for faith and stuff. I don't even know what you would do. Probably buy it back from him for more later. Not very good. So yeah, we just put 10 carrots there probably every time he comes by, which is every day or two. It's not as often as it once was. But like, do we not have any peat? Oh, well, we do now. And we have so much. So much peat, I don't understand. Alright. I don't get it, but that's okay. I'm not required to. So let's store that. Let's go store all these body parts. I don't really like carrying them around. Oh, I didn't store the maggots. Oh well. Well, I was hoping that that was going to get us out and doing some more research. Um, but now that we can get bodies, we know we can get more um, blue points. And that's definitely something good to know. So could we... What do we want to focus on? Like, let's see. Get a bottle of wine. Demonstrate your work talking. That's right, we talked to Snake already. We, we haven't talked to her. Study the key, which probably needs more. We probably needs three faith as well. Um, so we could start the fishing endeavors if we bring six moss. So I mean, maybe that's what we do right now. Do we do we get the moths? We can't do anything here. It's all all taken up. Um, here we could do this and start getting stuff for the church, start building stuff for the church. Um, 
which would help with the whole appeasing the bishop thing. We could work on gathering bee, moth, and butterfly. Can't do anything in smithing. This is the only thing we can do in building, which doesn't seem that important to me. So you know what? We're going with the bee, moth, and butterfly, which we can collect at night. And then we can start the fishing endeavors. So it's going to become dark. So I'm just going to go out exploring and we'll hopefully be able to get some moths. I'm assuming they're what gather under light um, at night. That's most likely what it is. But let's just go up here. There's, there's still plenty more on this map to explore. Like if we go to the map, you can see that you know, these are kind of the edges. We still have stuff above which hill, but we don't seem to be able to get there yet. Um, but like back there, I'm assuming we'll get the town eventually. We don't have it yet, but we could get there. Um, we could also actually start trying our hand at cooking and getting energy reserves for when we go out. At some point, it'll probably be necessary, like for trips to the dungeon and whatnot. So lots of trees, we never are going to have to worry about trees. So is this a different part of forest near the river? Yeah, I think we're here. Yeah, we went farther. So there's two parts of forest near the river. Now we're at the quarry. Kind of our little home away from home because we can build pretty much anything we want up here. We can sleep here. We can. I don't think we can cook here, but. So we need to fix this guy up, and we actually can do it. We just need 16 flitch. Simple iron parts and nails. So I mean, that's not that difficult. Not that difficult at all. What I wish we could fix up is the cabin. Doesn't look like we can. But you never know. Maybe we can unlock something in the future that will let us do it. So the bridge should be up here somewhere. Okay, it's not. Never mind. I thought it was up north of the fishing spot. Oh, it's right here. It's a fishing spot on the wrong side. So let's go look for some moths. Since it's nighttime and we have some energy still, we actually have quite a bit of energy. What is this? I can dig in it. Is this where you get clay? Oh, it's, you get river sand. I don't know what you do with river sand. But we can apparently collect it now. Okay, the trees are a little much. And there are bats that want to attack me and probably kill me. I'd prefer if that did not happen. So this one doesn't have any moths. I feel like I see them all the time near my house, like up in the marsh. Like right here, yeah, this. But I can't collect them. But it says they come out at night. How do you collect a moth? Do we just have to find one and slay it? I thought that's what they would be. Apparently I was all wrong about the moths. So just hold on a second. What is up with this? Graveyard Keeper, Moth Gathering. Foraging flowers at night. Okay. Strange, we were, where, we were where there were a lot of flowers, but maybe we can find some more before the day comes? I don't know, at this point. Everywhere I go is devoid of flowers. 
Seriously, normally flowers are like everywhere. Now they're nowhere. What's up with this? This bull. I hate it. So this gives you some reason to forage flowers at least. I mean, not during the day. Is this still night or is it day? Might count as day, so we might just be foraging flowers. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about that. Alright, so let's just go back. So today's the day that the actress is at the inn, but we can't impress her at all, so no reason to really care about uh, about that happening, that being the thing. So what do we need for beams? Because a lot of things want it. Um, why do I need a chisel? I can make one. Why do I need it? So we need this. So that's just a, a lot to ask. Oh wow, carrots also grow like really fast. So if we don't have enough seeds of anything anymore. No. So let's start making some peat. We should just put the peat down everywhere. Wait, I totally have enough seeds. I have seven carrot seeds. What is this ridiculousness? Look, I even have eight. That's what I needed. So can I just plant peat everywhere? Yeah, so let's just do that. Because I'm assuming that gets you more out of what you get back. No, I wanted to pick something else. So I think it's like, if that's the last thing you did, it just picks that. Alright, so carrots. We could go get more. Um, let me out. You get more seeds. We have a little bit of money for more seeds. Not a ton. Um, we probably got a, we have a little bit more now, thanks to the sermon again. And we'll get some burial certificates probably, hopefully soon. So let's go to the farm and try to expand our gardening business. Because I don't think there's a lot of reason to sell our vegetables to him. I don't think we were going to get a lot of money for them. Oh, but hey, look, donkey's coming. Exactly what we need. So let's see if we can trade. So cabbage seeds, carrot seeds, wheat seeds, beet seeds. So we just need to buy stuff from him to work on this, right? I think. But like, it's expensive. Like I spent most of my money for two extra blocks of cabbages. But we'll plant them, and we'll... What surprises me is there's not like a leveling up system for skills like planting or, you know, growing, fishing, stuff like that. There, there doesn't seem to be anything like that in place. I haven't heard the bell. Has Donkey not rung it? Because he... Oh no, he's just now getting here. Can I talk to him? Nope. Okay, well I don't have any carrots in my inventory, but I can... Put some there in a moment. So let's just look at him. So he's all right. So we're gonna bury him, and then he can be worth points once we, you know, make his grave look all pretty and stuff. So let's put in a grave site. So put right there. Alright. 
So we need to make him a fence and a gravestone. I don't know if we have what we need for that, but we can get it for sure. So let's go grab the carrots from our garden. I know we have a whole bunch and we're growing more. Is this look good? Is this ready? No, nope, not yet. I don't know what it'll look like when it's ready. We've never done this before, so I want carrots. And believe it or not, I just want 10. My goodness, my phone's going crazy. Alright, so we'll give the... We'll, we'll pay Donkey before he even gets here. Because then he'll be happy and he'll just drop off the body and be on his way rather than saying that we're treating him unfairly which is what he does otherwise so let's see we need a plank for that so can I make a plank can't so let's make a plank and then let's make this and then I prefer the stone uh, head pieces because obvious reasons of more points they're just worth more for making our graveyard look nicer let's just go out and find a location of some stone one piece from all of that I got one piece like and then that piece which was smaller gave me two I don't understand okay let's just hop back in here then make this because it's gonna like sap every piece of energy we've ever had it does give us a lot of red points though and so we'll need those for some of those building things that are very um, highly priced I would say in terms of um, just what you need to to use to get them and guys that's gonna do it for this episode if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button and as always I'm the purple Pegasus and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye